morning once again, beloved. It's the morning church with Mountain Top Life Devotional. God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's quickly say a word of prayer as we go into today's devotion. Our Father in heaven, we thank you this morning. We appreciate you for your love, your kindness, and your mercy towards us. Lord, we ask, be there any way we sinned against you or come short of your glory? Father, have mercy upon us. Forgive us from every sin, known sin or known sin. Cleanse us. Help us to be the doer of your word, not just the hearer, but to walk side by side with every word from your scriptures. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be to your name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Beloved, today, Friday, May 5th, we'll be looking at joy. It says joy. A spiritual energy. Joy is spiritual energy. This is part two. Yesterday we went through part one which says joy is an inner state of rest and contentment. Joy, an inner state of rest and contentment. Quickly, we'll go to the memory verse of today, which is Psalm 16, verse 11. Thou wilt show me the path of life, and the present is fullness of joy. In thy presence is fullness of joy, and at thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Praise God. I'll say that again. Psalm 16 verse 11. Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Praise the Lord. The motivational quote of today says, Joy is one virtue. You cannot buy with money, not at all. You cannot buy joy with money. It also says, neither should you ever trade it in exchange for anything in this world. Note, joy is one thing you can never buy with money. Neither are you permitted, neither are you allowed or given any reason for any sake to do what to trade it with in exchange for anything in this world god bless you in jesus name today the prophetic word for today says may you experience great and unspeakable joy of the lord in every area of your life in jesus name amen amen and amen we'll go to the fire scripture quickly which is taken from philippians chapter 4 from verse 4 to 8. If you are there, kindly open your Bible. Philippians 4, from verse 4 to 8. Praise God. I'll read it quickly from here. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I say again, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. It says, I'll take verse 5 again. It says, let your moderation be known unto all men in the faces of the earth. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication and with thanksgiving. It says, well, by prayer, by supplication and with thanksgiving. Let your request be known made. Let your request be made known unto God. Praise the Lord. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And verse 7 says, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, which I am aware of, I don't know if you are aware of that, shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. It says finally, verse 8, brethren, which is the last verse we read in this Bible verse. It says, finally, brethren, 
whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, and whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good reports, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think of these things. He says what? Well, think of these things. God bless you, beloved. Quickly, we will go through our reading of today. It says here, Joy is a component of the fruit of the Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Joy is a component of the fruit of the Spirit. And, you know, what is the fruit of the Spirit? It is clearly written in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. But it says, as Christians, we should cultivate and motivate it. What are we motivating? The fruit of the Spirit. It says, even as we seek to achieve the full stature in Christ, we should what? Motivate it. Let's quickly turn our Bible to Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. If you are there, God bless you. Galatians 5, 22. God bless you. You're there. It says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Note, But the fruit of the Spirit is love. The fruit of the Spirit is joy. The fruit of the Spirit is peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. Beloved, now, we know what the fruit of the Spirit is. Joy, says love, joy, peace, long-suffering, patience, and so on and so forth, beloved. You know, joy is one of the strengths of the Lord. So I say the joy of the Lord is my strength, yes. When you have the joy of the Lord, you have divine strength in God. It says God is delighted to see us in joyful situation regardless of contrary circumstances no matter the circumstances you find yourself in no matter the circumstances you 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 see yourself whatever situation find joy when you have the joy of the lord which is the strength and which is the spiritual energy the lord it gladdens the heart of the lord you know to 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 accept our sacrifice of praise that if you come to the Lord and tender all that you're going through, and in your heart you have that joy of the Lord, you know, it gives you, you find yourself in situations that the Lord gladdens, that the Lord is happy, and the, the, the heart of the Lord is filled with praises and rejoicing. Praise God. Paul was in prison when he wrote to encourage the Philippians Christian to rejoice. Beloved, Joy manifests at different levels of magnitude and expression. Joy mag manifests at different levels of magnitude and expression. The Bible talks about different kinds of joy, but we're just going to focus on three kinds of joys in the Bible and in our book. It says Christ loves us and it gives us divine joy. It gives us it gives us unspeakable joy and with joy know that according to galatians chapter 5 verse 22 with joy you have peace and peace gives us grace for long suffering yes with joy you have peace and this peace of the lord gives us the grace for long suffering and not that alone you also have the grace for gentleness and that as well gives you the faith to walk and walk in the path of righteousness and in the belief of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this gives us the great belief and gives us this understanding to believe in the goodness and the promises of God. Beloved, while we, while we dwell in more and more in this Bible verse, we'll go for a short break. Do not leave your screen. God bless you. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2023 is now available. Volume 8. Get a copy today and some for those you care about. And leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord.
Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 8. Life changing encounter with a gun that answered by fire. To get a copy, visit www.mfminkbookshop.com to have it delivered to your address or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional, The Mountain Top Live, for the year 2023, Volume 8. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Welcome back, beloved. We stopped at the Bible talks about overflowing kinds of joy, different kinds of joy. And number one of those joy is the overflowing kind of joy. And this overflowing kind of joy talks about the fullness of joy which we receive when our joy comes in contact with the joy of the Lord. Now, this is an impact that is being made. When your joy comes in contact with the joy of the Lord, you tend to what? You have the overflowing joy of the Lord, which flows like the stream of living water. Praise the Lord. It also says here, the Bible also talks about the great joy that is the second kind of joy it talks about the great joy which was experienced amongst the samaria it is which the people of samaria experienced at the at their encounter with the good news of salvation through philip and that is written in acts chapter 8 praise god if you're with your bible we'll quickly read turn to acts chapter 8 praise god acts chapter 8 we'll read quickly from verse Four to eight. Quickly said, therefore, they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things. Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Hmm. And as a for unclean spirits crying out loud came out many that were possessed with them and many taken with pulses and that were lame were healed praise god verse 8 says and there was joy there was great joy in that city beloved hmm. now you see what joy causes joy passes round this says here that the people of Samaria experience great joy. This is the second kind of joy which we as a believer, not to talk of the unbelievers there, people that came to hear the word of God in the book of Acts, but instead they were filled with great joy after seeing the wonder, wonderful miracles that Philip, Philip, Philip manifested by the grace of God. Praise God. And now the third kind of joy he says, the unspeakable joy, which is written in 1 Peter chapter 1 from verse 7 to 9. If you're with your Bible, you can read it later on. In, in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 7 to 9, it says, The unspeakable joy of the Lord. That is the kind of joy that goes beyond human explanation. You tend to have the unspeakable kind of joy, you have the overflowing kind of joy, and you also have the great joy. Beloved, it says, I'll quickly read from the book here. It says, Beloved, the joy of the Lord does not depend on persons or situation, your social status or your net worth. Many people are wealthy in this world, yet they are miserable. The same goes for the poor person who does not even have one single joy of the Lord. He is, is, his misery is times two. That's a poor person. His misery is times two of the rich person because he is filled with misery and misfortune but we know that having christ equals having all 
being contented in all things. This is the joy we are talking about. That when you have the joy of the Lord, you are contented in all things. The joy we are talking about here, the Bible calls it contentment, which is the great gain in God's sight. It is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Christ in you, the hope of glory, is the joy of contentment. Beloved, joy makes you to bubble with life. It makes you to rejoice in the salvation of the Lord. That is your spiritual energy. Take this home and have this at the back of your heart. That is your spiritual energy is the joy of the Lord. It brings you health. It brings health to your bones. While sorrow and bitterness brings rottenness. So take sorrow and bitterness away from your heart because the joy of the Lord brings health to your bones. A joyful person would manifest the peace of God in his life. Joy and others, love and others at himself. Be a kind person. Have gentleness and compassion as a person. A bearer of God's kind of joy is an embodiment of Christ-likeness. In all areas of your life and as an ambassador of Christ and as a bearer of God's word in the kingdom of God someone be, be, be an ambassador of God's word and an ambassador of joy in the kingdom of God and be a person who manifests his glory and undiluted power joy will draw men unto God joy will draw men unto God and unto the kingdom of God because of you. If you keep carrying up a sardine energy, a bitter energy, it pushes people away from you. So right starting from today, have the joy of the Lord as your trademark. Have the joy of the Lord as the marks and as the face you wear every day because it brings people it draws people into the household of the lord i pray this day upon your life that the joy of the lord will be full forever in your life in the name of jesus beloved i want you to have this at the back of your mind that the lord forever wants to always see you joyous the lord wants to walk with you in your place of work in your business in your home in all that you do, he wants you to wear the joy, which is a contentment of salvation in you. You're saved, you have the joy of the Lord, which gives you peace, which gives you salvation. Praise God. Joy is holiness. Joy brings holiness to the fullest in you. I want you to know this, that as a believer, it is compulsory for you to be filled with great joy. It is compulsory for you to always have the overflowing kind of joy in you. And it is also compulsory for you to have the unspeakable joy that wherever you are and whatever you say, you speak joy. That when people see you, you radiate the joy of the Lord in and out. That when you move, you move in Christ and in the joy of the Lord. That in, in, in Christ and in the joy of the Lord, that is in all, all whom you have your peace and your being in Christ. Praise God. So I want you to have this at the back of your mind that in all of your activities, carry the joy of the Lord along with you, which is what? The spiritual energy. Praise God. Right now, I want you to lay your hands upon your chest and declare, upon your life that the joy of the Lord brings holiness to my soul. The joy of the Lord brings peace to my soul. The joy of the Lord gives me the grace for long suffering. The joy of the Lord gives me grace of gentleness. So the joy of the Lord gives me the grace to be gentle. So the joy of the Lord gives me the grace to have faith to walk according to the promises of God. So the joy of the Lord will give me divine healing. So the joy of the Lord will redeem me from all tribulations and all circumstances. Praise the name of the Lord. Beloved, 
I want you to know this kind of things that joy can do in your life. One, the joy of the Lord brings healing. If you do not know, know that now. The joy of the Lord redefines you. It redefines your being to walk according to the purpose of God and for you to be a carrier of the presence of God. Because when you are filled with joy, you are filled with the presence of the Lord. And that gives you the opportunity to be a carrier of His presence physically and spiritually in all realm and in all ramification. Praise God. I also want you to know what the joy of the Lord does. The joy of the Lord redeems you from every form of lack, from every form of loss, from every form of tribulation. And the joy of the Lord also changes your life. It turns your life around because you may be weary and the joy of the Lord turns that weariness to joyfulness. The joy of the Lord uses you as a trademark and as a ministry to people around you. Amen. So the people around you look at you when you, when, when you replicate the joy of the Lord and it brings salvation to that soul that may be weary, that might have been lost, and that might have given up. Beloved, at this junction, I want you to dwell upon the joy of the Lord and call him into your heart. And while we do that, we go for a short break. See you soon. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2023 is now available. Volume 8. Get a copy today and some for those you care about. And leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 8. Life changing encounter with a gun that answered by fire. To get a copy, visit www.mfminkbookshop.com to have it delivered to your address or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2023, Volume 8. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Welcome back, beloved. I believe we've dwelled upon the word of the Lord in the joy of the Lord and in His presence. Do not forget that you have to let your life follow the pattern of heaven. You have to let your life follow the pattern of Christ. You have to let your life follow the pattern of Jesus. Jesus lived a life that was filled with joy. That even amidst his disciples, he was always filled with joy. And that is what the Lord wants from us. He wants us to live a life of joy. He wants us to live a life that will be joyous, that will bring and win souls for him. You know, in your place of work, do you carry a saddened face? Do you put up a downcasting face that makes people feel what is wondering? Is our God not alive? Is his God not alive? What is going on with his family? What is going on with our family? Are they going through tough time? I want you to have this in you. I want you to have this at the back of your heart that you need to be a carrier of the joy of the Lord. Put up a smiley face. Put up that face that brings the pattern of heaven. In the heavens, the, the, the angels are always rejoicing. Rejoice in the Lord and in the power of his might. But joyful. God delights in the well-being of his children and loves to see them live a joyful and a fulfilled life. Beloved, right now, I want you to begin to ask God for mercy that if you have sinned against him, if your lifestyle, if your character of being sudden has pushed people away from the presence of the Lord, Lord, have mercy upon me. I want you to begin to pray. Say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy upon me. In Jesus' name. 
in jesus name right now i want you to declare that the joy of the lord rests upon me that the joy of the lord rests upon the works of your hands that the joy of the lord rests upon your going out and your coming in i want you to to declare upon upon your life that the joy of the lord radiates greatly upon you begin to pray begin to pray pray that the joy of the lord fill you fill fill become the essence of your living that the joy of the lord become the essence of your salvation in jesus name we pray right now we're going to pray some few prayers we'll see overflowing joy of the lord possess my life possess my being possess my lifestyle in the name of jesus i want you to begin to pray that the overflowing joy of the lord possess me possess me possess me possess me that i be a carrier of the joy of the lord say let the joy of the lord that is contagious overflow and envelop my life in the name of jesus lord let the joy of the lord overflow and overwhelm my well-being overwhelm the essence of my living overwhelm the essence of my moving of my going out and my coming in in jesus name we pray i pray for you beloved that you're going out and you're coming in from this day and spot shall be filled with the joy of the lord the joy of the lord will overshadow you the joy of the lord will overwhelm you in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray God bless you, beloved. As you go out, go in the name of the Lord and go in the joy of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.